welcome to my YouTube channel. I've had a couple of people ask me how I tape off my um, tumblers on the rim, the top and the bottom, and how I make such smooth lines. And I'm about to show you right now um, how I do mine. So you're going to need a tumbler. And then you're going to want to put your foam insert already inside before you tape off the top if you're going to tape the rim. You're going to need a sharp pencil some popsicle sticks, some tape, and some scissors. So I'm going to point you down now so you can see what I'm doing. So what I did was cut two pieces of tape And what I'm going to do is, you can, however high you want it, so this is how I would do it, is I take my popsicle sticks and my uh, pencil, and then I tape them like this, but you want to know, it depends on how high you want yours, so I do mine too high, so it hits about here. Let me see if I can show you up close in the camera about where it will hit. So it'll hit right here on the bottom of the cup. You can stack it three high, four high, only do one high. It all depends on what you want. So you, I take them and put them together. And then I put the um, end of the pencil at the end like that. Then I take my tape and I tape one end of the pencil to the popsicle sticks. Then I take my other piece of tape and tape the other side, making sure it's straight on there. It's on there straight. And voila. So now what I do is, let me push this down some more. Take my tumbler and put, take my pencil, you know, on this side where you can see better, and put it up, push my pencil up against my tumbler and then just turn my tumbler against my pencil until you hit all the way around. And then I flip it around, because I do both sides. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. Spin it. Then I take my tape. And I start taping off the bottom, follow that line. I just put the edge of my tape right at that line. See what I'm doing at the, right at the edge of the line and just go all the way around the cup and turn this way see if you can see it better until they meet and then I go past a little bit cut it and then I take it and fold it make a like a little tab so it's easy to pull it when it's time to pull tape sorry there's something on my tumbler so then when the then it has like a little tab so when it's going around and you're ready to pull your tape it just comes right off so I'm going to do the same thing to the rim of my cup and I usually line them up on the same side that way I know where they are. They're both in the same spot. I just pull pull the tape from the same area instead of having to search for it or wait for it to come around for the next spin around. So I'm just taking it and going along that line.
And I like to use electrical tape over painter's tape or anything because it bends and curves how I want it to. It's pretty flexible as to where it doesn't tear and rip, so here you go. That's what it looks like where it's both ends taped because I don't do the bottoms of my cuffs nor do I do the rims unless it's like a specific design that, you know, would look better with the bottom done. Other than that, I tape them both off. Plus it saves you a lot of time from sanding tops and bottoms and I just like the way it looks. I think it looks better. So there you have it. There's my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm just starting, but I'm going to post some more videos soon as I go along. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope I helped you guys.